But actually, this whole framework in Scotland is drawing on a much wider framework in children, which comes out of the Every Child Matters programme, and is based on, I mean, the person that's been, as one of the very influential beha people behind this is the, is the Chief Medical Officer for, for Scotland, who is he's kind of quite Marmot-like in his approach. So he says, in terms of his justification for this approach, if we are to have the greatest chance of influencing the determinants of health and well-being, which all sounds very social, doesn't it, as if there's these big determinants, he then says, we should focus efforts on actions to improve the quality of care for children and families. So you immediately move from what sounds like social determinants of health yes. into the relationships within a family between the children and the parents. Mm. We should start by making efforts to ensure a safe and healthy pregnancy so we start talking to women about what they're eating and drinking and how they're behaving when they're pregnant. A nurturing childhood and support families to bring up their children in a safe, healthy, supportive and stimulating environment, which is then the whole basis of this well-being stuff. And there's a big literature on this, more generally, isn't there, about this kind of starting something which kind of sounds like a social determinant, as if mm. it's really broad but then shifts really sort of seamlessly and almost without you really noticing it into a level of basically interpersonal relations mm -hmm. and then inside the family. And that's kind of drift all the time. Mm -hmm. And I suppose, you know, I mean, I, I end up, I, I mean, this is one of the reasons why I'm so allergic to well-being. I think as it, it's a kind of... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Inherent drift. I don't know. I don't know that you cannot have this drift. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yes. So at the same time, you know, again, you know, child well-being is not my field, but I know that Sweden has invested heavily on this, mm -hmm. and I know that Canada prides itself on doing far more than yes. the U.S. And when you look at the data in the U.S. for child poverty, it's a disaster. So I totally understand Ellie, your uh, Foucaultian, you know, <laughs> resistance. You know, I mean, this is just, you know, the state teaching kids to be middle class, which is not what we want. But at the same time, to have government that do create buffers and scaffolding to, you know, guarantee that children have better conditions. So there, I think there's a kind of ethical dilemma, isn't mm -hmm. there? Mm -hmm. you know, have to think about it. Isn't it? Isn't it? Huh? This is nothing to do with conditions beyond, and unless you understand right. conditions as how parents write buildings. Yeah, you mean <laughs> it's just disciplining. It, it's, yeah. well, it's, yeah. it's individualized. It's, yeah. Yeah. 